Robinson's Brooklyn Dodgers moved to Los Angeles shortly after he retired, and that's where on Sunday the marquee celebration of Robinson's achievements was held. It was in L.A. where Robinson ran track for UCLA before his service in World War II and before Branch Rickey opened the door to opportunity with the Dodgers. All across the Major League Parks, Jackie Robinson Day was held. Everyone with good weather, anyway. The headline act, of course, the special ceremony at Dodger Stadium is seen on ESPN. Jackie's widow, Rachel Robinson, and Bud Selig, and Vince Scully, the host. Jackie Robinson's sprint from third base to home plate took mere seconds, and yet it exemplified his life, passion, combined with purpose. Jackie was an American hero and the ultimate barrier breaker. He was forced to endure unimaginable animosity, hostility, and downright hatred. Threats to his life and to his young family were commonplace. Yet Jackie took everything that the hate mongers had to throw at him, and he prevailed with his integrity and his legacy and his legend intact. Not only is he a baseball Hall of Famer, he is a Hall of Famer for all time. It is my great hope that all of us will take this occasion to reflect on how far we've come as a nation and yet to be certain that we collectively continue to struggle for equal opportunities in all aspects of life. Rachel Robinson there. Frank Robinson, the home run king. Hank Aaron on hand to throw out the first pitch simultaneously. Robinson and Aaron throwing to Juan Pierre and Mike Cameron both wearing number 42. Now as for the game itself, Dodgers and the Padres, all the Dodgers wearing number 42 in honor of Jackie Robinson. Rachel Robinson in the booth with John Miller and Joe Morgan. Bottom second, Dodgers up 1-0 with two on Wilson Valdez facing Chris Young. That's well hit. Off the top of the wall, good for a double. Russell Martin comes in to score. Dodgers up 2-0. Two innings of work, four earned runs for Chris Young. Now let's take a listen to Rachel Robinson's reaction in the booth. She just couldn't help herself. That ball is driven deep to left, and Valdez has hit the top of the wall. <laughs> Russell Martin in to score, and Ethier stops at third, a double for Wilson Valdez and nearly a home run. You're not supposed to root if you're in the booth, Rachel. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Back and forth. I'm sure she got a pass. Bottom third, Dodgers leading 3-1. to one. Andre Ethier. That's going to be trouble. That'll drive in two more. Dodgers go up 5-1. They go in to win it 9-3. Peter Gammons now remembering Jackie Robbins. Out to win its first series of the season. Milton Bradley, one of several players to honor Jackie Robinson, putting on the 42. The A's hosting the Yankees. First inning, Shannon Stewart, Derek Jeter, a puppy. Sixth there of the season. He had 15 all last season. Top of the eighth. Yankees up three to two. Runners on the corners. For Alex Rodriguez conks that thing way back. Nick Swisher's after it. That's modern. But Johnny Damon, he'll score on that. In third, Yanks up 4-2. to two. Mariano Rivera in. Yanks leading 4-2 to two. should be automatic. Marco Scudero, the batter. Two on, two out. Rare. Three-run homer. Crawloff homer off the fair foul pole. And the players are happy. A's win it by a count of 5-4. to four. Sunday, just the fourth time in his 13-season career that Rivera has allowed a walk-off home run, but all four have come since 2002. Griffey trying it this time against the Cubs, so he's worn 24, 30 for his dad, 3 for his kids, and 42 for Jackie Robinson. Top of four, Reds up 1-0. Griffey facing Ted Lilly. Choking on a splinter. Lilly's sixth K of the game. Edwin Encarnacion goes out. Not happy about the call. Foul tipped the ball is what the umpire said. Unhappy about the call. Lilly six innings pitched, 10 Ks. Kyle Lowe's thrown for the Reds to Derek Lee. Chopping Brock alive. Fifth K of the game there. And then Lee. And that's just another example of the man holding us down. Eighth inning. Loesch, Alfonso Soriano can't hit it. Eight innings pitch, 12 Ks. Bottom of nine, two out, one on. Cliff Floyd against David Weathers. And that's nothing. 
Reds hang on to win this thing over the Cubs. Is there one nil? Reds had a credit card interest rate for an ERA last season, but this is this season. Vernon Wells wearing the 42 instead of 10 to honor Jackie Robinson, Tigers, and the Blue Jays. Gary Sheffield wearing the 42 instead of the three. Top of one, two out. Curtis Granderson on second. It's not endorsed by Fred Griff. Josh Towers, one of the rare mistakes for him on the day, throws it in the center. Curtis Granderson scoring from second. Tigers take a one nothing lead. Bottom of seven, tied to one. John McDonald, the base hit. Throw will be cut off. Royce Clayton comes to score. Sean Casey peeks at him coming to score. McDonald takes second on the play. Blue Jays a 2-1 lead. B.J. Ryan on the DL with a sprained elbow. Sean Markham comes in for the save. To Maglio Ordonez, he's going away. Markham the save. Towers gets the win. And the Jays win it by a count of 2-1. to one. The Blue Jays. Arizona then, the Rockies and the Diamondbacks. And Jackie Robinson on it there as well. All around the majors. And just like you saw elsewhere on the show, Diamondbacks players wearing 42 to honor Jackie Robinson. Same with the Rockies. Tony Clark on talent. That's up Young Young Kim, 4-2, Clark's first of the season. Now top of the third, Rockies down by a count of 4-3 after he runs the bases. Todd Helton, stamp it! Off to Doug Davis, score tied at four. Helton's first of the season. Bottom of four, score tied at four apiece. And Tony Clark against Kim. How many times have we seen it? A guy wears 42 to honor Jack Robinson, hits two homers in a game. We saw it that's twice. twice. That's twice yeah. on this Twice on Sunday. Yeah. Diamondbacks win. Baseball, Kenny Metrodome, Devil Rays, and Twins, Carl Crawford, honoring Jackie Robinson for number 42. Bottom seven, Twins down 4-2, one on one out. Jason Kubel at the plate. And Kubel making the most of his opportunity. This one to the gap. Torrey Hunter coming around from first, and he's going to try to score. Listen up. Wigginton throw to the plate. He is safe. A great slide by Hunter. And why not? Jackie would have been proud of that slide. Hunter also wearing the number 42, and he pulls the Twins to within one. Top nine now. Game tied at four. Runner on second, Deanna Navarro off Joe Nathan. Akinorio Amora coming around to score. Devil Rays win at 6-4. They split a four-game series after 10 straight losses at the Metrodome. Buckeyes have lost four in a row in St. Louis again to defending champs Albert Pujols. You see against Ian Snell, normally good, but here he goes down. Albert didn't think he swung. Snell, seven innings, six Ks. All right, bottom nine, Solomon Torres in the close. Got off to a good start as the Pirates closer. Been dicey lately, and this is the Pirates' luck against the Cardinals. Hits the base. Of course, that's a fair ball. Runners at the corners. Oh, look at that. Then Torres would hit David Eckstein. Chris Duncan would fly out, then pull holes with the game on the line. Normally good. However, Torres gets him to pop up. So base is loaded, one out. Torres gets out of it, getting Duncan, and then pull holes, and the Pirates win 3 to 2. So we classify sports center by letters, say. Yes. The first part of the A's, then we do a commercial, then uh -huh. we do the B's. Well, these are the E's, we are as you e's. know. And I don't know if our producer did this on purpose, Mr. Clark, but on this play, there are three E's Ooh. in this, the E's of Sports Center. Aubrey Huff can't handle the throw, that's an error. And then over the head of Adam Lowe, and that's an error. Paul Bacco is going to chase it down, and he throws it over everyone's head. And so that's three E's on one play during the E's of Sports Center. Wow. No, no, yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> now, the Orioles were down 7-1 in this game, but they come back to win it. Aubrey Huff, former Ray, hit 128 as a Ray. That's one as an Oriole. And the Orioles win 9-7. 21 in Cincinnati. That's a bit disappointing to watch the Brewers and the Reds. Top of the first, Eric Milton against Johnny Estrada. Two on, two outs. Estrada to right. This should end the inning. Oh, my goodness. Ken Griffey Jr. has won 10 gold gloves. Hasn't won one in eight years, but... Man, the 37-year-old makes his second error. Still has hit a homer this year as well. Still at 563, tied for 10th with Reggie Jackson. He was one for four in this game. Jeff Conine loops one, and infield fly rule is called, as you can see by Larry Poncino. Now, the runners run at their own risk, so they can't advance, but an out on Conine is called because, again, they call the infield fly rule. It's a bit of a looper. It's it's a bit of a dicey call, but again, it's a judgment call by Larry Poncino. He deemed it an infield fly roll, so the batter is out. The Reds do pull within 4-3 to three later in the inning. Bill Hall, 1 for 22 slump, hitting just 179. He was a fantasy draft by many players, but off to a tough start, but the first grand slam helps him there. And the Brewers.
Marlins and Astros. Houston pitcher Wandy Rodriguez has just one win in his last 11 starts. First batter of the game, Hanley Ramirez. Ramirez taking Rodriguez to deep left center. The ball hits the wall just below the home run line. So Ramirez is flying around the bases. He's heading home. Mark Loretta's relay throw to Brad Osmus. Is it online? Got it. Ramirez is out at the plate. No question. Going for it all early on. Ninth inning. Tied at three. Lee singles to right field. Joe Borchard doesn't field it cleanly either. Mark Loretta running from second. Doesn't see the ball. Will stop to third. That leaves the bases loaded with no out. So Morgan Ensberg full count. And Ensberg pop fly. Foul territory near the right field line. Borchard runs into Dan Ugla trying to make the catch. The ball drops. Astros catch a break. Very next pitch. Ensberg singles through the hole at short. Loretta scores from third, and that's the way the game ends. Astros win 4-3. Plays. Let's start with number 10, why don't we? Angels, Red Sox, Julio Lugo is going to run the ball down, and is he going to miss? Oh, a nice sliding catch. Take another look at Lugo making the play. More from this game in a moment. Our number nine, Dancing with the Stars. Our, oh, yes. week, our weekly update, Clyde Drexler still in the competition. <laughs> Ali as well. We find out, what, Tuesday, right? Who moves on? Is that when it is? Yeah, Tuesday night. Tune in, ABC. Number eight, Boston Marathon. Lydia Grigorieva wins for the women. And Robert Sherio wins for the men. Sherio back-to-back champion in Boston. All right, it's for charity. And uh, although Will Ferrell will do this for nothing. <laughs> you know, True. He'll wear a Speedo for free. And as we can see, clearly not manscaping yet. <laughs> Racing against Pete Carroll. And I later he went streaking in the quad. I like the cap, most importantly. <laughs> Number six, Philly and Dallas. This is Tony Graziani, though. Tony gets Ooh. drilled by Ricky Simpkins. Take another look at the hit. Oh, man. Drilled and meant it. Goodness. Arena League violence. Oh, number five, Suns and Rockets. Tracy McGrady reverse. arena football for number four. Justin Wood at quarterback passes to Larry Brackens and Brackens. Beautiful one-handed grab for the touchdown as you take another look. That's why he gets paid the big bucks. Number three is a three. Par three, 17th after chunking his first chip. Boo Weekly sinks it. He would do the same thing on 18. He wins going to Kapalua. Gets to go to Augusta. Oh, just a great day for Boo Weekly. His first PGA Tour win. A couple of chip ins on 17 and 18. Number two, Pirates cards, Chris Duncan. Coming in for the big catch, and that, that's Purdy. Take one more look. It's good. Pirates win 3 2. And number one, Angels Red Sox. This is for you, the fan. You know, you know, they, they teach kids in Boston this at a very early age down there down there on L Street. Oh, yeah, he's an L Street brownie. Beverage doesn't fall, and a 